Welcome back to another edition of Watching Baseball. It's a thing we do where Jake and I, that's Jake, this is I, sit down and watch some baseball. We started with the 1970s. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, watching baseball. Watching baseball. We started with the 1972 World Series. We've done a video on every World Series. We are up to the 1983 World Series, which features... The Baltimore Oreos and the Philadelphia Phillies. They called it the I-95 series, Jim, because that's a road that connects the two cities. Pretty close together. Closer than probably America realizes if you don't know those two places, right? Uh, My friends in California have no idea. No idea. That that they're close. Yeah. So, exciting. What I was really excited about, and again... Say it, baby. Disclaimer, learning everything for the first time, not familiar with these teams or these players. I know the names. I don't know their day-to-day. Is this... some, some of them, I don't even know their names. Hey! Is this the first series with a ball player that you've seen play baseball live? Yeah. Because we have a, we have a young Cal Ripken Jr., yeah. 22 years old. The season before this, 1982, Cal Ripken won the Rookie of the Year. This season, he wins MVP. What a what a start to a career! And dude, it's think of the way you think of Tatis dude. and Soto, right? And that's a little eye opening from the scary end that we're getting older and stuff. But it's also crazy because I picture Cal Ripken as like the old balding Cal Ripken that hit the home run in his last All Star game in Seattle. Um, and also, like, whenever I saw Cal Ripken, he was pretty much on bad Orioles teams. So this is this is going to be really cool, seeing a, a young Cal Ripken, how we literally view <laughs> Fernando Tatis Jr. today. Yeah. I mean, he won the Rookie of the Year at 21, MVP at 22. This is game three. And the sixth inning, what are we watching? We are watching the sixth inning. It's either the sixth or the seventh. I'm I'm not sure. Okay. The, they're down two nothing. The or Orioles. two one. The Orioles are down. They're gonna mount a little comeback. At the end of the video, we will go to game six. Five. Game five and watch the last out and the celebration because I've been enjoying those. We like the celebration. And as always, these videos are brought to you by the shop at John Boy Media, shop.johnboymedia.com, and you can get this shirt. Wait, what's this? What do you got? This shirt. Let's do it. Oh, hot start. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rich Dower. Quick catch. Quick first out. I like those Phillies uniforms. So we are in the seventh, so I think it's a 2-1 game. Yeah, it's 2-1 Phillies. This, uh, this game had a really premier pitching matchup. Uh, well, A, I think three Cy Young winners pitch in this game. Jim Palmer, Steve Carlton, and Mike Flanagan. A quick redo on that windup. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it. No, it's Flanagan. Outside ball, I agree. Where are we playing? What stadium is this? Uh, I believe we're in Philly. Philly? Another yeah. just gross. <laughs> They're all gross, huh? This was the time of AstroTurf, man. Like, even though fans behind home played it all, just as gross. Not Citizens Bank. That's what it is now. It's an all-time ballpark. Veteran Stadium. Oh, yeah. The vet. We were there already. Michael Jack Schmidt. Got him. What a ball player. Maybe the ball player that fit his era the best. You close your eyes and think of an 80s ball player, and, like, you see Schmidt. Yeah. He knows how to play that third part of that turf. Yeah. Which is strange for players who don't play there all the time. Play on artificial turf all the time. Is this, is that the Orioles manager? Former Orioles manager? So Earl Weaver, this was his first year not managing the Orioles. And they decided he'd be a great color commentary for the World Series that featured the Orioles. If you were a Phillies fan, you had to be so mad. 
And uh, also that's really sad, too, because I know Ken Singleton, who's the DH on this Orioles team now, uh, he tells so many Earl Weaver stories on the Yankees broadcast that I was like, oh, this must be Earl Weaver's ring. And then I was like, oh, not. Just all of his guys. So who, who took over as manager? It was a name I wasn't even familiar. I wasn't even familiar with. Dad. Oh, you're about to get so shamed. Shame me. Shame me, Daddy. Um, Orioles manager Joe Out the Belly. Out the Belly, huh? Out the Belly. Good Paisan name. Where babies come from. Outside. Give that. So who's up here? Oh, pine tar grip right there. Oh, Benny Ayala on deck. Love that. Wow. Checkeroo. Three balls, two strikes. To get an education watching Dalton pitch. Fast balls away, sliders in and down. Amen. So wait, who is on this? Is it Cassell? Weaver, and then who's doing play by play? And then there's a play by play guy, not sure. Ooh, roped one. There's the ball. I think this is just the version that's on YouTube. Because it does look like we took a step back. Because this is Ooh, awful. Fun. Oh, a Thurman Munson fan. I love it. I think he's a catcher, too, so maybe that was like a tribute to Thurman. Yeah, it's just I don't think Thurman's the, invented that. We just saw Thurman do it. Throw the hands. But like it could be, right? No. The jersey's definitely got a little tighter and a little smaller in the eighties. A, a little, a little more painted on. He has two of the four hits. Now this guy can surprise. I mentioned the other day that in the. 79 series between the birds and the bucks. Candelaria was going full speed. As are Steve going out to talk to Steve, see how he feels, whether or not he's weary. And Ayala lasted Candelaria. You remember it well, Earl. Home run. Yes, I do. And Holland. In the pen. <laughs> and what they're talking about on the moment right now is their scouting report of Benny Ayala, whether they should throw him breaking balls or whether they should throw him fastballs. The scouting report is that he's a poor hitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Benny can go deep. You just mentioned Howard that. going after him. Scouting report is he's a poor Benny hitter. Ayala is a fellow who's not afraid to walk up to that plate and look for the slider on the inside half and give Carlton all the fastballs he wants to throw at times. Oh, how he has second first and don't get the call. The crowd's with you, Jim. I thought that was a swing. I mean, that was almost a full swing, no? That's There's Epi. I was wondering where she was. Ben Stiller. You should make that a video. Like that check swing. Because that was the most ridiculous. That was the easily the most ridiculous. It was in the World Series. He's pointing at the pitcher. That's great. I mean, the w- in the dirt oh. gets away from Diaz. And didn't it hit a foot or anything? I guess it got the catcher's foot. I don't know what that was. You know, went straight up. If, if this is the first one you're watching of this series, the check swings back in the day, they just never, ever okay, so, yeah. got called. You look again at the advancement here that. For people who really like baseball, these have been three very good games. If you tune in, we got to bring that up, Coney. Yeah. And if you equate excitement with that's offense, bullshit. <laughs> it's a disappointing. Well, the count's three and zero, and I would think that Benny's got to go ahead if it's the type of pitch he wants. Think so? Thanks, think so, Earl. Earl? Earl should have just managed from the booth. He's only a year removed. The count shouldn't be three and zero, though, Howard. You were right. I agree. Shelby is on deck. And Ayala swings. Rio. Slappy swing. That's not good. That's a real, yeah. If you're swinging 3 0, swing, man. 
Two guys that are lost? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to read Ripken's not <laughs> If you see these guys, know that they're looking for the closest autos. I think there's a bathroom yeah. there, but it's got a long <laughs> line. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, let's have a better swing here. 3-1. Benny. There we go. Jeez. Schmidt laid out for that. That's what he says. What does that even fucking mean? He's a Baltimore situation player. Howard was all over that one. Dude, that's Howard's first reaction to a big hit in the World Series. Like I said, yeah. he's a Baltimore si wow. Dude, Schmidt. I love him. That would have been awesome. Word. Epi. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of want the coaches with the names on the jerseys back. Benny and Epi? Benny and Epi. The Ayalas. Epi for short. Always building a moment. They could have died, but they did. That's why it's an interesting series. We'll be right back. He's always well, he building. I can say something with confidence. Right I'm so excited I don't live in an era where Howard Cassell calls but World Series games. There, says, that, that grinds my fucking gears. And I like it. Like, I can understand. My dad said they used to auction off bricks right. so that one lucky person could throw their brick through their window and not have to listen to Howard Cassell. <laughs> Your, Your family is not a Cassell family. That's fine. I don't think my, I don't know if my dad didn't like him. He just, he just told me like people like it wasn't. He wasn't revered. Like we know the name, so we were like, oh, are we bashing a legend? And my dad said, no. More people. I'm not bashing. Legend. I want that out there. Uh, it was good for boxing and stuff, but this World Series stuff is brutal. but I really don't think you'll go in this situation. So Shelby will be coming up. The game in which the so we just tied the game, right? Up runs How about Schmidt with that dive, man? Yeah. Tied the game, but more importantly, in the of the Howard was right. He's a Baltimore situational guy. Can you believe it? I doubted him, which, you know, I can't believe I did. So we got double batting gloves. No ear flap, though. Stretch. 12 years strong with this split screen. You would yeah. think they would have developed. No. If it ain't broke. What do we got? John Shelby versus Al Holland. A couple of your faves. They don't even do this anymore. Like, they don't do split screen at all. Grounded to the hole. They said, "No, what they do. They have that side angle that shows the the pitcher and the runner leading off, and yeah. they just switch it real quick. They'll switch. They it didn't the figure pitcher. that out yet. I mean, they couldn't switch that fast. Here it comes. Yep, Dan Ford. Dan Ford having a day. Walk home run. Danny Ford. Walk homered." One other thing about Holland, as far as base runners are concerned, the Phillies will tell you in the infield. When he's in there, he doesn't pay very much attention to him. Okay. He says, give me the ball. It's me and the batter. And he's the fellow who told George Foster earlier this season, get in the box. After Foster at homered again. Uh, who, who's this announcer? I recognize his voice. He was after Al Michaels, ball, maybe? But that had something on it. He was looking for it. Against a pitcher like this, Ford will normally hit to right or right center. Normal. Not over. Easy catch. He really looks the part, though, of a mean, tough relief pitcher. A guy comes out of the bullpen. If you ever hear him speak, he's got the perfect voice. He's got that cool Al Michaels, yeah. Voice. Al Michaels, Howard Cassell, and Earl ways, Weaver. What a task for Al Michaels. I want to call him up and be like, was that the toughest booth you ever worked with? <laughs> Got one dude who does soliloquies, another dude that's famous for just swearing his ass off at managers and has never done it before. And his his team is playing. <laughs> yeah. When Raboski was a hot pitcher, remember Al? 
with Ed Ungari and had some tremendous years. That was one of the great acts in all of baseball. That was a good act. I enjoyed oh, that one myself. Wonderful. Look at all three of them. They made it work for a pinch. The mad Hungarian brought them together. Yeah. Look at, how do you hit? Dude, I can't turn my neck like that. Try. One hopper hit shot. Oh, no. That's Orioles situational baseball or whatever yeah. he said. No, Howard, once again, he knows. We see a lot of, uh, is it the concrete and the balls? Like in the last three World Series, we've seen some rough infield play. And it's a little like, yeah, they put the ball in play more, so things happen yeah. more. Um, but it feels like there's timely, like, like, teams won by so dinking and dunking and Babib luck. I think it ties into and with two out, to a lot two of people's theory in. that, oh, the there's Cal. That you, just putting it in play Dave sometimes is the right thing play. to do. The geeks don't want to hear that, though. God, Cal. Big swing. There have been short stops I've seen playing the major leagues that didn't want any part of that ball. De Jesus tried to get in front of it, tried to keep it in front of it. Just that is true, because we saw, I forget which one it was, but we saw a guy go full Ole. Ole, yeah. Uh, and it was like, come on. It and it's skipping now. across cement, actually. Yeah. Circumstances in the seventh inning. Come on, Cal. Enough, the first two men going out. In the air to it's a hold of it to center. Love the nice camera run. switch. So three to two, Baltimore. And so, are we watching the bottom of the seventh? No, that's kind of it. This is the final score. Oh. Whoa. Oh, they were trying a little painting cutaway here. I love it. Sammy Stewart. All right, so let's just skip to the do, 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 last out of the World Series. Yeah. Here we go. Orioles are up. Orioles are up. I think it's 5 nothing. Um. Yeah, they're blowing yeah. them out in this game. And Phillies won, Phillies won game one. And, oh, my. A liner. Cal? Caught it. Wow. That's a nice big hug. Grace. Nice on the road, so no fans are going to run out. Some music playing. That Philly team had a lot of the old Big Red Machine on it, too. Pete Rose, Joe Morgan, and Tony Perez. I like those Philly uniforms. These guys are sad. Show the happy guys. You're lingering a little too long. A little bit. It's crazy. Hey. That is such a good look. Sad. Yeah, these are the most sad looks we've gotten. Nobody rushing the field? No, they're, they're the away team. Ah. Rick Dempsey Keith. has just been named the unanimous most valuable player in this, the 1983 World series the pictures you have just seen all spoke for themselves when where's the cutoff for when Reggie people stop Jackson calling like shots of <laughs> tv <laughs> pictures yeah Clubhouse, <laughs> i think you might be listening to it <laughs> another catcher again mvp imagine i used to well you know it's kind of us because i used to go to my neighbor's house sure i mean like i'm and my neighbor's grandma would say i'm trying to watch the pictures and i was like what the fuck yeah. are you talking about no, doesn't but I think like if that. I was to tell Luke, my little brother's ten years younger, or even someone like that's fifteen, and like oh, I still I would assume you're looking at photographs. Yeah, yeah. I think it's us. I think we're yeah. But I'm old. It's, it, the day Howard where, Cosell passed, where, the last where, time someone we're said, old enough. Look at the we're old enough to know that people used to say that. I don't think like ten years younger than us even know that people used to say that. Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm telling you, if I if I didn't see it in this context. Yeah. I would still be out. Okay. He really is a person who can rise to the occasion. Okay. Yeah. Not excited. Was, and this lady's uh, getting all the I action. I think she's someone's wife. I feel like the wife cam came out this year because they showed 
Series and the World Series. Epi. Epi. The fat lady will sing tonight. Good sign. Fact. Good sign. Winning the World Series after losing game Just thought about bringing that to like a heavier female musician's concert. That's tough. It's mean. Two homers in a clinching game. That's pretty big for Eddie Murray. That's our mean reliever, right? Yep. He's so mean. Al Holland. Were these the Phillies' main jerseys this year? I believe so. They wear those as throwbacks every now and then now, but I like them. Do you like them for then, or do you like them like if the Phillies were like, we're rolling with these now? Uh, I like all, I like a lot of the Phillies jerseys, okay. but I like I like them as standalone jerseys. Okay. Like if a, if a team was that color, I like them. Reggie, wow. So well, we went like, two years ago. It was Bob Euchre, then it was Bob Costas. Yeah. Now it's Reggie Jackson doing this job. Thing like it, that's for sure. We have Commissioner Bowie Kuhn of baseball here to present Bowie the Kuhn. World Series trophy, the World Championship trophy, to Mr. Edward Bennett Williams. Ed, as uh, chairman of the board, I have a very special sense of nostalgia <laughs> in presenting to you and your skipper, Joel DeBella, your executive vice president, Hank Peters, the World Series most valuable player, Rick Dempsey, wow. and all of you champions, the World Championship Thanks. trophy, you've earned it. Thank you very much, Bowie. I'm so proud of this magnificent band of brothers called the Orioles. They have been so great all year. They came back from adversity. They overcame it. They have character. That's the happiest moment of my life in sports. And I want to nice. thank you. Nice. Really? Wow. I was, I was so worried. Have you heard wor- anyone say that? No, but because I was waiting for the besides getting married and the day my kids were born. But... That's a much better Athletes caveat. Athletes need to pull that out of the bag. It's a much better because ca- you always hear this is the happiest day of my life, except when I got married and the day my children were yeah. born. Yeah. But just saying it's happiest day of my life in sports is a really good caveat. Wow. And Hank Peters for the magnificent job that they did. They deserve all the credit with the players for this great accomplishment. I'm very happy to take this great trophy back to Baltimore to the people who gave us the magnificent support. That we had all year long. Oh, fuck are you yeah, success. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Commissioner. <laughs> all right, man. I'd like to Can we party? We the of the Why is Reggie here? Jackson Reggie, here? Mr. Reagan, Mr. President. Oh, my God. To talk to you and congratulate you. The president's on the phone? Go ahead. I forgot Hello, about Mr. this. <laughs> Guys. On the phone with the, the president. president. Waiting for Mr. President Reagan to get on the telephone. He's not on the phone yet? To talk to the Baltimore Championship, the chairman of the board here, Mr. Edward Bennett Williams. We are waiting for President Reagan to come on the line right now. I forgot when calling the presidents after here. a team one was a thing. And there's the champagne, that's for sure. That's a sign of a world championship. Rick Dempsey. Rick Dempsey, while we're waiting for the president of the United States to, to <laughs> while we're waiting for the president to get through, uh, Rick, you've been named the. He's most not even listening to you. Right. No. Someone told me that you picked the right time to get hot. You haven't been hot in 11 years. I haven't. I've been here for 11 years. I have never been hot. This is one series I'll remember for a long time, Rich. I know That's awesome. Fact, I haven't yeah. had two good hits like that in a series since my first trip into Texas early this year. The champagne has my eyes burning. That's for for, for short. <laughs> Any way that you fellows decided to pitch the pitch the Philadelphia Phillies because you really seem to handle them. Well, there was really nothing specific. When McGregor goes out there on the mound, you know he's just going to throw his fastball and his change up the majority of the time. And we just have to play situation and try to stay away. Just keep Dude's still waiting for the, the president. Yeah, that's all. tough. Cut you off. Okay. The president of the United States <laughs> is on the telephone right now with Mr. Bennett Williams. Hello? Hello, Mr. President. Hello, Mr. President. This is tough. Yes. I can't tell you. I've been sitting here and probably had it all figured out that you would never allow me to vote on your death. This is tough. Listen, I'm just sorry that you missed this game, Mr. President. 
Uh, we have to get no, I mean, yeah. I don't even care. You got to pull this. the plug on that. Jesus Christ. I wonder if they do that every year from now on. Rick Dempsey. Yeah. Career six, 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 six OPS. So he Jeez. made a deal with the devil to get this MVP trophy, which is fine. I mean, his best season ever. Career 666. If anyone's not familiar with baseball, it's not good. And his, thank you for watching this video. <laughs> his best season ever is like 254, 751 OPS. Uh, most of them are in the sixes. How did he play for so long? A, I mean, he was obviously a good clubhouse guy, what we just saw. Jim, he played from 1969 to 1992. Holy. He played for 69 to 92. All of the seventies and all of the eighties. That's a ba- that's a baseball. How guy. did he play for that long with such bad stats? <laughs> it's around, man. Was he like an everyday oh, starter? God. Face ID. Uh for a chunk of it. Let me see. I don't think he won any awards. <laughs> okay, so in sixty nine and the, he only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight. Of his 24 years, did he play more than 100 games? So he was just a bench guy. So he was just a clubhouse guy. People just liked him. Never won a single award besides World Series MVP. So that line when when Reggie said, you haven't been hot in 11 years, (laughs) he's a bench player. That shit's awesome. Rick Dempsey. That is awesome. Can I play my game with Rick Dempsey real quick? Yeah, and then we got to end this. Let's see. Rick Dempsey was teammates with... I mean, Harmon Killebrew, who I think he played in, what, 40s? 54. Uh, so I, I kind of missed the window a little bit. But he played up to 92 with Ripken, who goes to 2001. So there's about 50 years of baseball that Rick Dempsey's Between two to. guys. God, I love that. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll be back again with 1984, something from the 1984 things. Goes. Goes. And let's see. Today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is getting released on Saturday. Maybe. Maybe. And I don't think we're recording the next one until Monday. So if you have a moment or game from the 1984 World Series that you think is worth it, comment it, and maybe we'll do that one. See ya. Thank you.